What's up guys, thank you for joining. Nestor Adrian Sen here again. Do you know how to create dynamic titles in Power BI? If you don't know how to create dynamic titles, this tutorial is definitely for you, my friend. But if you do, this tutorial is also for you. This might be a really, really good refresher. Before we get started, I want to show you here the final results. The main goal here is to create a dynamic title with multiple slicers. And as you can see, I have three different slicers here. And you can see here this title, for example, it says all product profits for all countries in all periods. So let's select product, for example, how about Montana? Now you can see that this is changing to Montana. How about country? Let's select friends. Now you can see that Montana profits for friends and then we can select year, how about 2014? So now you can see that we have here Montana profits for friends in 2014. And also the visuals on the right are changing. Profits for friends in 2014. And then here we have profits by Montana in 2014. So this is the main goal, my friends. And I'm gonna share with you this report as well so you can follow along. The first thing that we're going to do here is to create a few measures. Let's do this. We can open any folder here, how about KPIs if we want, right click, new measure. We're going to be focusing on these visuals right here, the ones on the right, okay? So the name of this measure is going to be country bar chart title. And let's start creating our title here. Open quotation marks. This is going to be profits for space, close quotation mark. And then let's use the ampersand. You might be familiar with this symbol. And let's use this selected value function here. This is a really powerful function. Let's select the financial stable here, country. If I don't select any country, please give me all countries. Quotation mark, all countries, close parenthesis, ampersand again here, open quotation mark, and space, close quotation mark, ampersand again, and we're gonna use the same selected value function here. Let's copy this. Instead of country, we're going to be selecting here year from the calendar table. Instead of countries here, all years, if that makes sense. So let's approve these changes and let's see what happens. Now let's test the measure real quick. Select the visual. Let's go over title. Let's delete this for now. And let's do this. Conditional formatting, value, let's go over KPIs, let's select this measure, hit OK, and let's see what happens. So now you can see that this is changing, profits for all countries in all years. How about if I select a specific country, France for example, now you can see that this is changing to France. Years, how about 2013? Now you see that this is changing to 2013. So this is awesome. Let's keep going. So let's copy this measure again. Right click, new measure. Control V. Instead of country, let's focus on product. Profits for. Instead of country, this has to be product. Product, like you guys are seeing right here. If I don't select anything here, just give me all products and then for the other visual and then for the other piece we are totally fine we care about year let's approve these changes so let's remove the slicers let's remove the filters here real quick hold down control clear all the slicers and now let's go over this visual title again let's remove this conditional formatting for now let's see what happens 
conditional formatting, value again, and this should be product. Hit OK. Check this out. Now you can see profits for all products in all years. If we select a particular year, 2013, now you can see that this is changing. And then how about a specific product? Just to double check, Montana, it's working perfectly fine. Awesome. Let's remove the filters again, hold down control, clear all slicers. So let's keep going. Let's go over model view real quick. Let's select these two measures, hold down control, and then let's create a new folder, titles. Perfect. Let's go back to the report view. And here, let's create three more measures, okay? Let's get started with country. Right click, new measure, because we're gonna be using this measure to create a title for the bigger visual. Country here, and here, let's use a selected value function, as you might have guessed. Country from the financial stable. If I don't select anything, please give me all countries close parenthesis boom so we can copy this right click again new measure and let's create this measure for products instead of country let's call this product instead of country here we can select product Let's leave this extra feature here and this should be all products. If you don't select anything, please give me all products. Let's approve these changes. Perfect. Let's copy this measure, right click again, new measure. And here, control V, let's call this periods, okay? So let's select here the year column from the calendar table and then if I don't select anything please give me all years. Hit enter and let's see what happens. Awesome, it's loading, it's thinking. The next step here is create a title. So let's do that, we want to do this for this visual, right click, new measure. So let's call this area chart title. We're gonna be referencing the measure that we just created. Let's reference here the product measure. Here is the product measure. And then ampersand again, quotation mark, open quotation mark, profits for space, close quotation mark, ampersand again. And let's select here the country measure. So it's right there, ampersand again, open quotation mark, space, and close quotation mark, ampersand again, and as you might have guessed, we have to use here periods, so periods, measure. So let's see what happens, folks. Let's approve these changes. Fingers crossed. Awesome. So let's test this real quick. Let's select the visual. Let's go over format, title, conditional formatting, value is fine. And here we're gonna be selecting the area chart measure. Let's hit okay. Check this out. Boom. So let's test this real quick. Product, it's changing, Amarela product, country, Germany, so you can see Amarela profits for Germany, year, how about 2013? Now you can see these changes. Awesome, it's working perfectly fine. So real quick, I'm gonna give you here a quick tip. Let's clear all the slicers first. Hold down control, clear all the slicers. Remember, for this visual, we have profits for all countries and all years. 
and here we have profit for all products in all years so let's make a couple of adjustments here real quick so this is just country and years so that means if I select product it shouldn't change but now it's changing it's changing so let's make sure that when I use product here let's go to format here and let's select edit interactions because we don't have product here so let's stop filtering this visual so now check this out if I select a different product it doesn't change it's not affecting the visual and then we can do the same thing for the other visual and remember this is profits for all products in all years so let's do the same if we go over country let's say country here slicer I want this slicer not to affect this visual so let's hit none here check this out if I select a country here it doesn't affect anything for this visual and that's what I want clear all the slices again select Mamarela one more time country Germany one more time there you have it all right my friends I hope you found this tutorial helpful if so please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget subscribe if you don't want to miss anything thank you guys for your time check these tutorials out as well really good content if you want to keep sharpening your power bi skills